Ouais. Here we go, starting off, we got, here we go, we got Creamy, fake challenges, now over to James. James isn't able to get the cut across, but the ball still remains in Team Revenge's um, possession. Rise clears the ball down the field, trying to follow it up. Creamy isn't able to follow it. Now over to Blau. Blau up to the backboard, up to Dux. Dux still following. Can he get the touch? No, and it is cleared away by Rexo. Rexo now taking the ball down the field. Zero boost though. Tries to take possession. Cleared once again by Arias. James tries to hit the ball along the backboard, but gets intercepted by Blau and Dux. Dux clears the ball down the field. Back to Rexo. Rexo. All right, now we're just seeing a lot of pin, um, pinball right now. As the ball keeps getting cleared back and forth across the field, no one really um, too interested in keeping control of the ball the entire time. We're seeing a lot of space, just no want to control the ball. And the ball goes back and forth again. No team is seeming to yield any midfield advantage. Creamy, with tons of space like here, right here, but no boost. Let's see what he can do. Gets the pass across the middle. Can Rexo follow? He does, but it gets saved away by Dex. So far, we are seeing some higher level gameplay right here. Rexo leaves it for Creamy. Creamy off the sidewall, tries to follow it up. Still air dribbling the ball, pops it into the corner. Now back to Dex. Dex clears ball, but it gets intercepted once again by Rexo. Demo by Creamy. Ball get bounces right back into the middle. Missed shot by Team Revenge. And now here comes Creamy with the ball. That's going to be a miss, though. Up, Rias has a shot chance, isn't able to score. And the, right now, it seems like Team Orange right now not able to follow it up whenever they get a chance to shoot. Okay, here comes Rexo. Rexo with possession passes it over to James. James pass, kicks the ball up the field, and now it's over to Dex. Dex with possession, flicks it out, is able to follow, gets the flip reset, and isn't able to do much else. As Creamy intercepts the ball. Almost a good passing play there from um, Team, Ruthless Un Team Ruthless Unity. James. He gets helped out on the 50-50 by Blau. Now Rexo will take possession. He isn't able to get it past one. James also loses the 50 to Dex. Ball is rolling towards um, an empty side of the field. Creamy respawning, getting possession. Creamy winning another 50. Blau, bad touch. Goes over to James. James can't shoot it on target. Now Dex is about to clear the ball. And Rexo makes the save, bringing the ball upfield, hopefully looking to center it. James takes control, passes it to Rexo, off the corner, and... James is in the air, he has control. Dunks it on Ruthless Unity. Creamy with the shot, and that is Revenge's first goal of the game. James wins the kickoff for Team Revenge. And a demo by Blau lets uh, Riaz hit the ball straight into the goal. Now it's 1 1. Here we go, Rexo clears the ball down the field. Now over to James, James shoots the ball on target. Rise clears it away. Now Creamy tries to hit the ball back towards the middle, but Blau managed to get the ball once again. 
Ball so far in the corner, which is basically no man's land when it comes to higher level Rocket League, especially in terms of the offense. Dex misses an open net here, and now Rexo gets possession. Rexo now taking the ball. Clears the ball. He has a chance for a flick. He shoots it on target. Great goal by Revenge GG. There was nothing that Rufus Unity could really do. It was such a nice, fast flick. 29 seconds left. <clears throat> okay. So right now we're seeing a lot more um, higher level Rocket League at the moment. So you see now as the teams are getting more comfortable, you're seeing a lot more mechanics, especially double flip reset here from Dex. But you're also seeing a lot more um, control when they have space at the ball. A lot of them aren't just going for random 50-50s. They're just playing the game. And right now, that's what both teams need. But here comes Revenge GG trying to put in a third goal here. James pops the ball off the corner. Dex intercepts but it goes straight back to cream that's going to bounce back into the corner the ball needs to stay up and that's going to be the first game to revenge gg what so tom mean? what do you think was the main difference in what um what team revenge was doing for, and um against ruthless unity that was allowing them to really take control of the game well, it seemed like they had more control in the air, especially with Creamy and Rexo. Especially with Rexo, and he had great control on the ground as well, especially with that second goal, which was such a beautiful flick. What do you think Ruthless Unity has to do to well, play, ex well, essentially win this second game here? If I am being honest, they don't have to change much. Their play style is actually a really solid play style with their only goals happening due to mechanical misses. So for example, that second goal, you just got to be able to read the flick and block it. But in terms of their offense, they are missing shots on an empty net. They are getting opportunities to score, but they aren't scoring themselves. So hopefully... Um, we, they realize their mistakes or at least warm up into this um, setting and start to be able to win um, a match or two. These are best of fives, ladies and gentlemen. So what, welcome everybody to the stream. This is the European Crossbar Cup. We're getting into our second game here between Ruthless Unity and Revenge GG. And we are just waiting for the countdown now. And here we go. Rexo and Blau off the kickoff. Blau manages to win it, but Creamy easily intercepts it. Duck misses. That's going to be an empty net here for Revenge GG. Creamy gets the first goal of the game. Six seconds in. Team Revenge already on the board. Rias isn't able to get the 50 due to a fake challenge there by James. And then Creamy just gets a free possession, free goal off the miss from Dex. And there we go. We get to see the Reaper goal explosion. I see what you mean when you say mechanical errors led to most of their goals as again this led to another one right there yeah i mean if we look at dex mechanically with the ball he is amazing he's already tried to get a double flip reset and succeeded in getting the flip resets but um we are also seeing not uh there's no ability for him to be able to react to the ball quickly and fly up for it on defense although he is learning how to um fake challenge giving his team a little bit more possession I agree with that. And here's a shot from James, which is saved away. Blau pops it up. James follows it up. Creamy also in the air. Now it's going to be Rexo with zero boost on defense. Here comes Dux. Dux with the solo play easily hits it into Rexo. Now it's going to be up to Blau to keep it on offense. He keeps it at the midfield line. Holds it forward. His teammate isn't able to follow, and Creamy clears the ball down the field. We're seeing a lot of nervousness right now from Ruthless Unity compared to the first two minutes of their last game. Well, I feel like the reason they may be nervous is, well, a goal was scored in the first six seconds, and they have to find a way to recover from that. If they've been to this situation in a tournament before, if I am being honest, they should be able to have the control of their nerves where one goal at the beginning of a game shouldn't be affecting them too much. This is a best of five, and if you're getting affected by this at the very beginning of a series, then, well, more and more goals are just going to keep getting scored on you as we see Rexo putting a clanger here. I mean, that was just an open net. He beat the defenders. Here we go, back on the kickoff. 
Creamy and Rias, it looks like um, they switched up going right side on the kickoff there for Team Revenge. Creamy, he's been looking really comfortable here in this game in terms of the mechanics. Already trying to go for a musty double tap once in this game. But Rias intercepts the ball, zero boost, isn't able to continue it. Ducks, though, tries to put a shot on target, saved away by Rexo. Blau tries to keep it on offense, but now, but it's now a Rexo with complete possession. Ducks ball chases into the sidewall, but now, but they end up make, actually managing to get possession there just for a second. But seems like Team Revenge are way too experienced right now, and they are keeping the pressure on to Re Ruthless Unity. Is there anything that you think Ruthless Unity could do this game to stop the deficit from increasing? It's not that they have to stop it from increasing. They are doing well. It's just they aren't putting shots or pressure on when they need to, or even when they do, a mechanical mistake generally happens. Ducks missing out on a power shot and the other team getting a free clear, as well as a few missed passing plays. Here comes Rias though. He isn't able to get to the ball. Ducks pass it over to the middle. Here's a passing play we've been looking for, but it gets saved away by Rexo. Rias should be able to follow this up onto the backboard, but his teammates aren't able to follow it up, and Rexo clears the ball down the field. Creamy easily reading that play, trying to hit the ball towards the middle, gets the flip reset, but blocked away by Rias. Blau helps out his teammates. Now he can have a shot on target here. He does, and that's gonna be a 2-1 game. I think this is what we needed. We need to start seeing more from them. Just pushing forward. Here we go, Rias going down the field. Rias, so far, Rias has been playing really solid. He hasn't really missed anything, and he's been getting a lot of good challenges. It's really helped out his team. It seems like Duck needs to do a bit more than just be able to control the ball. He's missed a lot of open net shots. Rias, demo, and Blau managed to follow it up. Blau still with possession. Goes over to Rexo. Wins the 50 on Rexo, and now Creamy will take possession. Creamy really being a stronghold for his team right now with his mechanics and ability just to be consistent. That's just going to be a double commit there from Team Ruthless Unity with a shot on target. Now it's going to be a ton of pressure here for Revenge, but Rias, solid back man, manages to clear it away. Rias clears the ball off field, gets another touch. 50 seconds left on the clock. We... Let's see if we can get the tie game now. James with control. As we can see, Ruthless Unity do have the control of higher level players. They didn't just blindly charge into that ball when it was in the air. And look at that. Just due to that, they get a full possession. It's going to be two to two. If you look, Ryston waited for the clear from James. James was in an awkward position. He couldn't clear the ball all the way down the field. And Ruthless Unity played it patiently. And this is what a lot of um, lower level GCs do, where um, like 1700, 1800 do, where they don't realize that you can be patient and wait for the ball to come to you sometimes. I mean, I'm not a GC personally, but you see a lot more waiting in like lower lobbies, like Platinum and Diamond, which I feel is something GCs may forget. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, generally in Plat and Diamond, they don't have the mechanical consistency to really believe in their mechanics, so they generally just hesitate before flying for a ball. And it looks like we are heading into overtime for game number two. Yes, two to two overtime, first overtime of the live stream so far. And here we go, already in possession by Revenge GG, ball gets cleared down the field, Rias now takes possession. Into the air. Wins the 50-50 over to Ducks, but Ducks fake challenges, just trying to play his time. Patience is a virtue, and if he can waste time and just try to find an opening, it'll be a lot more like chess than like Racket League. And by what I've been seeing on Twitch recently, chess is more uh, more popular than Racket League, so. Here we go. Blau clears the ball to the side. Taking the ball up the field, wins the 50. Still in Ruthless Unity's favor. 
creamy with low boost, but manages to grab the boost and hit the ball up field, but he messes up his mechanics here. So this should be a counter for Ruthless Unity, but they haven't got him off the ball. That's going to be a game winner from Rexo. Creamy was able to completely mess up his mechanics and nobody on Ruthless Unity wanted to counter it. And in the end, Blau accidentally passing to the other team, giving um, Rexo a free goal. And that brings the series to... 2-0. One more win for Revenge, and they're on to the finals. Everybody in chat, this is where we need your predictions. Do you think we're going to see a sweep, or do you think that Ruthless Unity can come back? Everybody in chat, what are your predictions? We are just waiting on Ducks to ready up for the final match. Ducks, as you can see, he's getting a lot of ball touches, gets a save. He managed to get a goal off a great passing play from his team. But um, so far, it really has just been his shooting. So and if we let's look see at what though. he can do. Looks like we have some believers in the reverse sweep from Ruthless Uni Unity. Let's see if it happens. There we go. Rexo already winning the kickoff, but he goes straight to Ducks. Ducks, use those mechanics if you want to win. He goes for the try to go for the back flick off the delayed flick. But here we go. Over to Blau. Rexo now with possession. Clears the ball across the middle. Double commit there from Ruthless Unity, but it doesn't look like it'll harm them. It'll actually help them as they get the ball all the way down the field. James gets a bad touch out, but manages to get back under control of the ball. And now Revenge now with the counterattack. James hits the ball off the backboard, cleared away by Dex. Is there a follow-up? Yes, Creamy trying to go for the double tap, but it gets followed by Dex. Rexo now using his time, loses the 50-50 to Rias. Now it's over to Creamy. Creamy now with possession, loses the 50. That's going to be on target. Ruthless Unity get the first goal of the game. And if my mind serves me right, both games have been won by the team that scored first so far. So um, let's see if Ruth this means Ruthless Unity is going to win or not. And your mind does serve you right. Both goals were scored by revenge in these last two games. Let's see if they can counterattack. James now backwards, hits the ball right back to Ducks. That's going to be a pass down to Blau, but Blau can't finish it. Rias now tries to put a strong shot on target, but it was weak. Now over to James. James intercepted by Ducks. So far, Ruthless Unity showing a lot more composure, but here comes Creamy and Ducks. They both neutralize each other. Both the most mechanical players in the lobby, at least what it, by what is apparent. Rexo now with possession, goes for the air dribble, goes for the fake, and it goes to Creamy, and Creamy gets a free shot. Look at this pass from Rexo here, everybody. If you see what he does, he air dribbles it slowly just to make it so um, the pass with the ball, if it gets cleared past him, will go straight to a teammate, which should just be a strong shot every time. And Blau wins that kickoff cleanly. Ducks clears the ball down the field over to Rexo. Rexo now with possession, gets a pass one. Can he hit it middle? He does, and Ducks manages to actually get the read off the post there. It took a lot of composure to make sure that you don't just panic thinking the ball's going on target. So, Tom, so far, um, Ruthless Unity are looking better, but do you think it's enough for them to actually pull off a game win, let alone a series win? I think they can definitely take this game, but I'm I'm not confident they'll be able to pull the reverse sweep. Here we go. Maybe. Ducks managing to win the 50-50 into the corner, but it's left to James. James now with the air dribble, tries to get it out. Read by Rice. Rice has been really reading all these air dribbles. Um, and allowing his team to really take possession as Ducks here with the mechanics play. Can't get the double tap. Now Rice will try to take a 50-50. Tries has to take two. He does manage to do so, and his team will stay on offense. James now with possession. Clears the ball down the field over to Rex. So that's a great passing play. He's over to Blau. Blau now with possession. Hits the ball across over to Ducks. And Creamy now with a bad touch. It leaves Rice able to be able to take the ball onto offense. 
Lee, do you agree that Rias may have the most game sense in this lobby, or do you think someone else is showing it stronger? Creamy is showing not only mechanical brilliance, he's also showing positional awareness. He's generally just able to read the play, and he's able to be there every single time. Especially in that first goal, where he read that his teammate was getting the air dribble block, and then being able to put a strong shot into the open part of the net. And that ball just rolled right across the goal for a ruthless UND. Here we go. James hitting the ball across. Now has full possession here, trying to bait out Ducks, but Ducks manages to win the 50-50. Then goes over to Creamy. Creamy just clears it right back down the field. Nobody wants to contest it right away from Ruthless Unity, and it will now be an offensive play here from Revenge. As we saw right there, what I was talking about from lower level GC lobbies, Ruthless Unity just cleared the ball back when they had a lot of space, and Revenge GG just managed to keep it on offense. Ducks getting a second goal on the board. Ruthless Unity again in the lead. They just have to keep the lead here for 58 more seconds. And if they do that, we might be seeing a closer series than we expected, folks. Ducks seems to finally be getting his shots on target. He showed his mechanical brilliance before, but he finally has the accuracy to back it up, it seems. Everybody in chat, if you guys do want to see the bracket or at least the series leading up to this, you can look on European Crossbar Cup on Liquipedia. It shows all the teams and then the series points if you guys want to go look at that. But Creamy almost putting a shot straight on target. Now it's over to Rexo. Rexo with possession going for the double tap. Can he get it on target? No, saved away by Rias. Rias again with another defensive block. He's so good at being able to read those and just getting back to the ball. And Rexo is looking to slow play this. Look at that Creamy. passing play. Rexo to Creamy. Creamy getting a shot on target. 15 seconds left. We may be seeing that sweep after all. Rexo 50 50 against Rias. Rias was the stronghold. He was the wall. But this time he gets 50 off of him into a pass to Creamy. And Creamy's not missing those shots. This may end up being a double overtime series. We'll see in the next 10 seconds. I am surely hoping this. If it's going to be a sweep, I want it to go out in an overtime. And it better be a good goal, not some goal like, um, not some own goal like um, Siki's own goal, <laughs> Last Worlds. Or um, actually, you know what? I'd probably take a turbo goal because he still wins the series after getting an own goal. I don't know, maybe the turbo flick, that'd be a good overtime winner. Yep, here comes Rias, almost able to clean it up. Ducks has a free shot on target. There we go, we're not seeing a sweep. We're going to game four. Now, like I said before, I can see Ruthers Unity taking one or two games off, but I cannot see them reverse sweeping. So far, they looked a lot more composed. They are putting a lot more shots on target. I doubt they're watching the stream, but maybe they're taking our advice and actually putting shots on target. Once we get Ducks to ready up here once again, Ducks with both goals last game. Um, but let's see if the pattern continues. So far, whoever scored first has been the w team to win the game. So let's see if um, Team Revenge here can get the win right now, as they are now on two match point. They are with two match points. And Ryan's looks to be the block of this Ruthless Unity team with all three assists, as well as being a, def a defensive presence for Ruthless Unity. Yeah, right now the scoreboard isn't really showing what Rias is able to do. Rias has blocked more balls than anybody else on this field just due to interceptions. So don't just look at the scoreboard. He may only have one save on the scoreboard, but I'm telling you, he has way more than one save. And if you want a quick laugh, you can see why Ducks was taking so long to ready up. He was eating pizza.
Here we go, getting into game four, everybody. Some people are were, um, voting a reverse sweep's gonna happen. So let's see if it actually does happen as Team Revenge, so far looking the most solid, have now taken a game loss. Let's see how they handle it. Dex clears the ball across the field. Now, manages to follow his own touch and gets the double tap. He follows it once again, but Rexo easily beats him to that ball. And now Rise clears back into the corner. Creamy puts a shot on target, saved away by Rise. Here comes Rexo with possession. Loses the 50 to Rise, but it goes straight to James. James off the backboard. Creamy leaving. Actually, no, he went for the challenge on that one. And Rouse now clears the ball down the field. James getting one more touch, leaves it for Creamy. Creamy now wins the 50 off the backboard. Can his teammates follow it? They do follow it, but it looks like that was a waste of boost and a waste of time as that shot was never going to go in. Shot on target by Plow. That was out of nowhere, and that's going to be the first goal on the board for Ruthless Unity. Rise here just keeping pressure, and then James wasn't able to get the follow-up touch, and Plow just put a shot on target from the, from the sidewall. Great goal there by Blau. If this first goal wins the game, keeps up, we're going to have a 2-2 series after this match. I am really looking forward, especially in our first semifinal, just to see if it's going to be um, a game five. I'm really looking forward to see some game fives here. I believe if you win this, though, you're guaranteed, um, you're guaranteed a cash prize. So let's see um, if this is going to affect um, Team Revenge's mindset as they've now not only lost one game, but they've now also gotten scored on now in the first, in the next game after. Here comes Rexo with full possession. Demo by Creamy, but Rexo can't win the 50-50. Rias, the man in the back, he is taking control of his defense and he's making sure no ball goes in. Ruthless Unity seem to be doing a lot more demoing in this game as well. Premiari's picked up, I believe, three just in the first two minutes. Here we go. Rexo passed the ball towards the middle. Here comes Creamy with the follow up, puts it off the sidewall. Can his teammate follow it up? He wins the 50. Creamy now able to follow it back up. Goes into the middle. Here comes Rexo. Free shot. That's going to be an easy goal. Ryze did manage to get the savior um, point for that, but no good. As great pass from Creamy. Nobody able to follow it up right into open space. You'll notice this a lot from higher level GC higher level GCs versus what 1700 or 1800. They can usually pick where they're passing to. If the open space is on the backboard, they'll pass it to the backboard. If it's in the midfield, they'll pass it. Or if it's a or if the open space is on target, put it on target. You'll see this a lot from a lot higher level GCs versus um, low lower level teams where they usually just see the ball want the ball and go for the ball if you're if you're one of those players who likes to see the ball and go for the ball in chat say who you are in chat i think we'd all like to know <laughs> especially our tournament admin here we go creamy hitting the ball forward over to rexo rexo now continuing the air dribble runs out of boost and now it'll be back to creamy Creamy what, neglected to take possession there as someone was right on him. And now Rise to take complete control, but Rexo wins a 50. Back over to the Ducks. Back to Blau. Blau clears the ball towards the backboard. Creamy pass it over to James. James can pass it straight back, but Creamy isn't able to follow it up. Now it's going to be up, up to James here to keep the ball on offense. Bump by Rice. Now it's going to be on a one-on-one, -on -one, but Blau with the wave dash pass over to Ducks. If that went in, that was really similar to a season three G2 play from J Napster Rizzo. Blau into the corner. Over to James now. James with complete possession. He's feeling comfortable right now, despite um, the despite the circumstances. Blau now gets a strong clear, almost gets read by Creamy. 
Rexo now with possession hits the ball towards the backboard. His teammates follow up the clear, and now Blau pops it up. Here's a chance for James, but Dries misses. But James wasn't able to read that miss, and now it's going to be up to Team Ruthless Unity to try to get it onto offense. Rias clears the ball down the field, intercepted by James. James now following it up, pops the ball towards the backboard. Creamy going for the shot, hits it right off the crossbar again. Ducks manages to save it once again, and now Ducks takes possession. Flicks it over one, but gets demoed. Now Creamy gets a boost and ball possession. James hits the ball towards the backboard over to Rexo. Rexo hits it off the sidewall. Creamy off the backboard. Here comes James. Blah clears it away. So far, this is a really tense situation as Team Revenge GG don't want to leave the ball. James now hits the ball forward, isn't able to get it past Ducks. Ducks now trying to catch up to the ball, and Creamy clears the ball down the field with the flip cancel. Back over to Rexo. Rexo off the backboard. Here comes James. James misses. We're seeing an overtime. This is our third straight overtime. It's safe to assume whoever wins this may have the best possible chance to um, win this whole tournament. So far, this is a really good warm up going to the finals against whoever is coming up, especially with three overtimes. You have to be able to control your emotions. Hopefully we see how well they actually do. Rexo pops the ball towards the backboard, cleared away by Rias. Back to Blau. Blau tries to follow it with zero boost, but Creamy clears down. But Rias intercepts it, goes straight to James. Ducks is the OT winner last time. Can he make sure that this ball goes in their net? Or will Revenge manage to take the series? Rex slow plays it. Goes for the shot. Saved away by Rias. Rias is a block. He's a wall. Nothing can get past him. Now it's over to James. James flicks it past Blau. Now it's up to Rice. Rice pass it over to the Dex. Cleared away by Dex. Blau with possession. Creamy gets to the ball. Pass it over to Rex. Rex isn't able to put a strong shot on target and Rice takes it away. Rice still in possession. Hits the ball off the corner. Now James takes possession. Blau. Tries to intercept the ball here from Rexo, but Rexo gets the ball down the field. Miss clear by Rias. That's going to be shot by by Creamy. And now James follows it up. He wins the 50. Creamy now trying to follow it up. Creamy slow playing it once again. He's a really solid player. Tries to get the air dribble over Blau, but Blau gets the savior medal and just the save in general. Ruthers Unity are like a stone wall. Nothing has gotten past them since that first goal. Creamy and Rexo, had they been doing a lot of passing plays, but for some reason in this overtime, none have been connecting. Now it's going to be up to James. James loses the 50. Rise has a free shot. We're going to game five. To everybody who said that a reverse sweep was incoming, here's your chance to look for that. We're in game five now. Reverse potential reverse sweep here for, for Ruthless Unity. Their defense right now is unpenetrable. Look at that. Six saves from Rias and three and four from their other two players. Yeah, Absolutely just look at incredible. that stat line right now. Five, in total, there's 14 shots here from Team Revenge GG, and 13, 13 of them have been saved. Just to give you guys a pet perspective, that's a lot. That's well over 90% of all their shots saved. Okay. And if you, if you look at reverse, uh, Ruthless Unity only had five total shots. So even though Revenge was on offense for majority of the game, their defense was just unpenetrable. It looks like the mental um, fortitude of Team Ruthless Unity is starting to strengthen as they are able to just stay on defense and look for the counterattack, and it's ended up working. Although, eventually, that defense is going to crack, so let's hope it doesn't crack in this last game here. Otherwise, we're going to be seeing just a slaughter here from Team Revenge. Okay, everybody, I asked this when the sweep was almost incoming, but everybody in chat, what do you guys think? Do you guys think a reverse sweep is here, or 
do you think that Team Revenge can manage to close out the series? And we're off. Here we go. Revenge with the kickoff win. Rexo now taking his time. Tries to hit the ball towards the middle, but he's cleared away by Dex. Dex isn't able to get back to the ball as Creams pass towards the middle. Interception by Blau incoming. Manages to get it past James. James with the car switch over to the Fennec instead of the Octane. Here we go, Ducks passes it back to Rise. We're seeing a lot more control here from the team, but Rise gets a bad touch. That's gonna be a free shot saved by Ducks. That should have been a free open net there from Revenge, but Ducks managed to get back. Rex though, puts a shot on target. Off tar sorry, that was actually off target. Blau hits the ball into the corner. Straight to Rexo. That's going to be a pass across. That's going to be a miss there. So far, Revenge DG are missing their passing plays, but here comes James. Finally, they get a goal. And Revenge DG were the first to score this match. This could mean all five games, the first person to score wins the game. That generally is what happens. I'd say probably 90% of the time, whoever scores first usually wins. I know Left ran a statistic back when he was still playing for Ghost. I think it was like 60 or 70% of pro level matches were determined by the first goal. Here we go. Pass towards the middle. Rise now clears the ball onto the side. Rise now. Tay tries to take possession. Gets faked out by James. So James will get possession. He gets a pass too. Can he get the ball middle? No. Ducks will clear it away. Creamy now taking his time. Tries to get a pass Blau, but it's intercepted. And Rexo will take possession off of Creamy. Rexo hits the ball middle, cleared away by Rise. James now trying to take possession here. Blau now leaves it for Rise. Rise trying to just win a 50, but James challenges and wins it. Rexo misses a shot. Now it's up to Creamy to make sure the ball stays on offense. He does. He goes to the ceiling. Here's a chance here. He goes for the musty flick, isn't able to get a strong shot. And now Rexo keeps it on offense. Look at this pressure right now. Team Ruthless Unity, they did manage to hold down the fort in overtime last game, but so far they can't get the ball into offense, and they needed a pinch in order to just get it there. And so let's see if they can keep it now. Rexo hits the ball forward. Ducks manages to win the 50, but Creams clears it away. Rise now, trying to take possession. Isn't able to get the flip reset, but goes for the ground pinch, but it gets hit to the, hit to the side. And Ryze has yet another save in this series. He really is the wall that is keeping Rufus Unity in this game. But Rexo manages to get the goal off of the first shot by, I believe, Creamy. Let's look at this once again. Creamy. Actually, no, that was just a solid pass. I completely misjudged that. But that was a strong shot from Rexo off a pass from Creamy. They're starting to connect on their passes now. And this is exactly what you said before. That wall cannot stand forever. Oh my, Creamy beating. Um, who was that rise to the ball? Let's look at this once again, off the kickoff. Bad kickoff by Dex, and then Creamy just, with the pre-flip, beats rise to the ball. I mean, I guess if you hit, if you go around the wall before it's put up, I mean, you'll, you're already around it. So, look at that goal there by Creamy. Getting the ball past rise before he gets in the net. Here you go, Dex with the flipper save, gets a pass one, goes for the bump, saved away by James. We go straight to Rise. Rise accidentally puts the ball way too high, and now James clears it away. Rise with a bad pass, it goes straight to Rexo, it's the shot's on target, but it's slow, and Rise should be able to take control here. Now over to Dex, Dex gets bumped, and now Creamy will take possession. Off the sidewall, goes for the double tap, can't follow it up, and it gets past Rexo, actually. And now it'll be over to Rise. This is a 3-0 game here. If we're looking for a comeback, we're probably going to have to see a goal here from Ruthless Unity right now. Otherwise, this game may be over. It doesn't look like that goal is going to happen, but we're still a minute and a half left, so... Anything's possible. Creamy with possession. Hits the ball forward over to Rice. Now back to Rexo. Rexo clears the ball down the field. Rexo hits the ball across. Now it's back to Blau. 
Blano with possession, hits the ball towards the backboard, cleared away by James. Creamy now able to follow it up. Creamy with possession. Rexo waiting in the midfield, but Creamy takes it himself. This game is all but over right now. So let's see. So now it's going to be talking about in the future. Um, so we're going to be... So the next match is going... So it'll be Re Revenge GG versus either Stay Fresh or Lip. So they... Um, Lip managed to... Um, sweep in their quarterfinal whereas stay fresh won three to two against atlas esports so let's see um at the so so far with this um blocking or the reverse sweep it shows just the mental strength uh revenge gg not be not getting tilted or at least untilting themselves in the last game so they're able to win the series and they have shown that they can win against ruthless unity quite convincingly yeah, here we go, another 4 0 lead. Although, one factor I am worried about is overtimes. Um, Revenge, GG, were in three overtimes and they lost two of them. That's two game losses due to one goal. So, um, Revenge, GG really got to clean up their um, mental strength inside of. Um, inside of overtime and if they do that they should be able to take the whole tournament 